Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. And today guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about fake fingernails. And I got some of the Impress, the ones that you just press on and you don't have to have the glue. And these stayed on pretty good for about, I guess, four days. And I started losing, I lost my thumbnail. And then yesterday, I lost my middle finger. And now I've lost my end. And then this one. Now, I kept the fingernails because I managed to you know see when they popped off and I'm gonna try to glue them back on they have come a long way when it comes to press on fingernails because I used to use these a long time ago and they wouldn't even stay on really short amount of time maybe half an hour and they would be popped off my dog anyway um, I wanted to tell you I was I haven't been careful at all I mean I do try to use just my fingers and not my nails themselves which they are just they have gotten so dirty makeup under them and everything but anyway i wasn't going to do this video tonight with my fingernails looking like this but i thought hey this would be a great time to show you guys what they look like after the um four days i'd say i'm trying to think i think they've been on four nights yeah they've been on either four or five nights straight and on the very end it is starting to chip just a little and but guys I'll tell you what these things hold up really really good and if you were to be super super careful like you know put on gloves every time you put your hands in dish water or you know I can't really wash my face with gloves on I've tried it it just it doesn't work but if you did you know use a really really small pair not like not the big Playtex gloves, but like a small pair of surgical gloves and use those, you know, when you wash your face or if you have to wash your hair, you know, and then of course when you're getting a bath, that's very, that's a hard thing to do because you gotta shave your legs, you know, and all that stuff. So I still will say these have come a long, long way. So I, here's what I think about them. There's a lot of people saying they, they keep them, I mean, some people are saying that they're staying on for them over a week. I think I saw someone say two weeks, but guys, I just really don't, I don't know, I, I don't see how they're doing that because you have to get your baths, you know, and if you get a bath every single day, which I do, most people do, they're just, the adhesive is going to, that water is going to get down in there, especially when they start growing out a little bit and they lift back here, then the water is going to get up inside of there and, you know, they're just going to pop off think your thumbnails and you know the hand that you use the most is going to take the most abuse of course but here's what I think I think if you have something a special event to go to that these nails are absolutely great okay and you might be able to keep them on really really well the next day and they still look really 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 good but if you're planning on them staying on for a whole week you better take some glue with you but I will say that you will have to this is what I do personally if I glue um, one of these glue I mean if I glue one of the press on nails back down you know you don't want to do that with moisture or water up inside of your nail because that's when you can start to get fungus I take a blow dryer and I blow dry underneath my nails if they're lifted and then I just stick the glue down inside of there and then I'll just glue it down but this is the only thing I would personally really use mine for would be to you know go to a special event and even going to a special event I would either take my some more nails with me in case one pops off or I would take some glue with me just to be on the safe side I'm not someone that wants to have to you know be super super careful all the time so I prefer the glue on nails over the press on nails if you're rough like me and you don't want to like be so careful all the time you know I don't know glue-ons it's just it's, it's better f for me and it might be better for you too if you're someone that's you know careless as I am I try to use my fingers when I'm doing stuff you know and not my fingernails themselves sometimes that's a hard thing to do you know of course I can't open uh, any kind of um, cans and I drink a lot of energy drinks I can't open those I have to use a knife and it's kind of hard to get my contact lenses out so I try to grab 
with my finger but sometimes my fingernail or the fake nail will poke me in the eye I'm not giving them a bad review because I like them and I think they're nice and I think they have come a long long way and the design on these are very very pretty let me show you guys what the design looks like okay some of them are as you can see on the picture Wait a minute if it's focusing I think it's too bright I'm sorry some of them are just plain white and then some of them are like a a mauve color just solid and then you've got some design a couple of different designs in here and I really like this design a lot it's kind of got like a little line stripe going down the middle and it's got some little I don't know if that camera is focusing at all maybe it might be better if I show you like this the designs on them are pretty one has a like a two little pinstripes down the center and a pinkish color on the bottom and a white on top and then this one has the, the pinstripe down the middle and some little rhinestones and they're really 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 pretty it comes with the you know the little alcohol pad and it comes with a little file which is about this big personally I would suggest guys you get out a different emery board I would throw that away unless you're somewhere and you have no other uh, you know access to an emery board but, but you know can't give you a lot I guess for what you pay for them I think these were, nails were like I don't know I think they were $6.99 don't quote me completely on that they were $5.99 or $6.99 and then they come with your little orange stick you now which you can push your little cuticles back cuticle stick push your little cuticles back and then you will take off the uh, shiny slickness a little bit off your fingernail not too deep just just enough where your fingernails will stick and then wipe them down with your alcohol pad and then what I do when I pull my tab off guys I will hold my fingernail down and I swear I count to like 60 or 70 and after that and I do a slow one like one two three you know so it takes me quite a while but if you put them on while you're doing it just kind of press and do a little circle so you get every little bit of the fingernail flush to your nail now I will say these nails will probably fit someone who has more of a um, curve to their fingernails better than mine my nails are completely flat I hate it but they are so flat so a lot of times this makes sense so when you're putting your nail on okay and like this okay and if your nail is flat and the nail is not it's really hard for it to get all the way flush with your fingernail so when you don't get them completely flush they they're not going to stay on good so you might want to keep that in mind too they do make nails for flat nail beds but i don't know if they make press on nails for flat nail beds but you know what i am going to check and see if they do because if they do i might get some and i will say this too you know what if you're in a hurry even though you got to sit there and hold that on there for a little while these are a lot faster than putting glue on nails so that is a plus so if you need a quick manicure these things are absolutely fantastic as far as having a long wearing uh, set of nails no but it's not just these it's any press on nails so if you all are making your nails stay on for two weeks without having to glue them or anything wish I knew you know the secret I've watched videos on it and I've done exactly what everyone else is doing but mine they don't they don't stay on like that and it could be because my nails nail beds are flat too so that could be another thing to take into consideration so if you naturally have a curvature to your nail bed I think the nails will work even better for you but guys I hope this helps and this is the impress nails no glue needed and they have the little adhesive and you just pull the adhesive back and then put the nail on and I'm thinking about maybe trying to find trying to get some uh, extra nail tabs so you can just re-adhere them after they come off because the nails themselves have held up pretty good like they're flexible but they're not too overly soft like I've had some really cheap soft soft nails and they didn't hold up at all and I was very disappointed but these these really they're they're nice 
my dice. I hope this helps you with making a decision on trying to pick out a fingernail. And you know, with this COVID-19 going on, it's kind of hard, I think, to get in and get your nails done. I mean, you can make an appointment, but at least here in Louisville, Kentucky, you have to make an appointment and it, it can take a while to get in. But I think after the stuff simmers down, I am going to go get my nails done because I just like the fact of you know, not having to do anything myself to my fingernails. And I usually don't get any kind of wild design or any wild colors. I always get French manicure and you might say, oh, boring, but hey, it goes with everything. My daughter, when my daughter goes and has hers done, she always gets a really pretty nail color, you know, because she goes way more often than I go. It's harder for me just to get up there and get them done. So, Anyway, guys, this is what I have to say about the impressed nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel at the end of the video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.